WNDS Sports and Flat State Megabucks present Candlepin Skins. It's bowling with a whole new twist as New England's best bowlers battle for cash prizes in every box. Candlepin Skins is produced in conjunction with the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association. And now your hosts, Doug Brown and Dan Murphy. Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to the Londonderry Bowling Center here in Londonderry, New Hampshire. Doug Brown, Dan Murphy here for another edition of Candlepin Skins. We're glad that you've joined us on this Super Bowl weekend. Glad that we could be a part of it, and uh, we're looking forward to this one because we've got four guys who uh, not only are terrific bowlers and love to bowl, but also enjoy talking while they bowl, and uh, we may hear some of that today. That's right. That microphone is going to be going wild in this match. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, uh, Gary Carrington was our overall winner. Tim Lipke finished second, so they will be returning for uh, their second week each. Each, and they will be joined by Joe Ashline and Reggie DeLine. Two great bowlers there, too, and uh, Timmy's going to see if he can bowl as well as he did last week, but along the way, win a few more skins. That's right, <laughs> since he was shut out last week. We will uh, go over all the rules for you here and uh, bring you up to speed on exactly what is happening here on Candlepin Skins. In case you're joining us for the first time, or perhaps you need a little uh, review of how we do it here. It's a little different from a normal Candlepin bowling competition. We do have total pinfall, two games as normal. But the bowlers are competing individually one box at a time. Each box is a separate competition. The high score in each box wins the dollar value assigned to that box or the skin. If the high box is a tie between two or more bowlers, then the skin and the dollar value carries over to the next box. The top two in total pinfall will come back next week. And of course, you get to keep coming back as long as you finish in the top two. The first three boxes of each game are worth $10. The next three are worth $15 each. Boxes seven, eight, and nine in each game worth $25. And the 10th box in each of our games worth $50. So it gets fun, especially when those carryovers start building up. We had a $160 box last week, won by Chris Sargent. But then again, he wasn't uh, able to come through with enough total pinfall to come back. It's uh, it's funny how it works sometimes here on Candlepin Skins, but we've seen that happen before. That's right. It's 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 interesting to see it, and, and as it builds up, uh, the trash talking stops, oh, and yes. it's uh, it's uh, a little sideshow in itself. And we're expecting a lot of that today. So don't go away. We will get this match started here on Candlepin Skins when we come back to the London Airy Bowling Center. Joe Ashline and Reggie DeLine are uh, on the approach and ready to go. First game of two here on Candlepin Skins. Joe will have a spare leave. It's been a while since we've seen Reggie DeLine. And he starts with a strike. <laughs> and Joe with the spare. Don't be afraid to take it from Reggie, guys. <laughs> Reggie DeLine, a little on the Brooklyn side. Kicks out the six and seven for the strike. Right. Now Tim Lipke and Gary Carrington come up. Tim to be first. Ooh, flush on the head pin, the one and the eight. Uh, Reggie's friend. So Reggie DeLine takes the first skin worth $10. Tough crowd. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Tim takes an eight. And Gary will go with a nine. So that's how we do it here on Candlepin Skins. The strike by Reggie DeLine wins the first skin worth $10. And now box number two will be worth $10. The bowlers switch lanes. And Reggie now on lane 30. I don't know if he wanted that to go, although he does still have a piece of wood there. Looks like it's a little deep, though, but... Joe Ashline's bid for a strike falls one pin short, leaves just the five. And Joe slides by. <laughs> Ten for Joe. Reggie takes nine. 
luck, Joe. Missed the head pin, but it didn't turn out that badly. No, just the one three six left. And Tim misses the head pin. Spare for Gary Carrington, his first mark, and it will win the skin unless Tim can convert this one. To so take it away from Gary Carrington. And it'll be a carryover $20 in box number three. Another look at that one. <laughs> Joe Ashline now. Half Worcester right. Reggie Deline, I think, takes the shortest approach of anybody that we have uh, ever had on the program. Not only is he close to the line, when he starts his approach, he's only probably, what, four feet away, maybe three feet away from the foul line, but he also only takes two steps. Well, I was just gonna say, I can't really decide whether he takes the first step or just it's kind of a rocking step. Yep. And, uh, it's almost in place, but yeah, I think you're right. It's almost like two steps. Two nines. And Gary Carrington now each working on a spare, and Tim takes eight. Gary takes nine. Well, there's one spare. Tim had to wait for it. And there's the other one to create the carryover. Not for a moment, Tim might get robbed. Let's have another look at that one. Needs a little help from the sidewall on this piece of wood for the eight pin. So that's another carryover. Box number four worth thirty-five dollars now. Reggie full, but gets away with it. And Joe Ashline touches them all. And spare for Reggie. This is a quick one. Tripping that six pin for the strike, Joe Ashlon. I have a feeling one of these two poles is going to throw another strike, though. They're both working on spares. It's a light hit. It's not going to happen there. Last chance for Timmy. Otherwise, it's Joe Ashline's skin. And there it is. Joe, $35. Spare chances here, though, for both bowlers. Let's see. Yep, there's one for Gary. It's three in a row for him. Tim misses. I'll take a ten. So Gary Carrington is leading in total pinfall right now, but pretty close on all four bowlers right now. Joe on a strike. Reggie on a spare. And a couple of splits here. Oh, Joe cleans his up beautifully. Great shot, Joe Ashline for the spare. On strike. He can't quite convert. Reggie's the more difficult shot of the two. So he will take nine. 62 half for Reggie. And Joe Ashline at 58 with a mark up in the fifth on that spare. So one, two, seven, and ten. Triangle. And Gary almost stole himself a skin right there. Loud nine pin drop, leaving the five. 
Oh, Tim gave it a run. To have the skin, yes. That's four marks in a row for Gary Carrington, all spares. Tim Lipke takes a 10, and that brings us to our first break. And I'll tell you what, we've got a heck of a match going here right now. Very, very close. Gary Carrington in the lead right now. We'll be back on Candlepin Skins. Box number six worth $30 after a carryover. Reggie DeLine and Joe Ashline. Up there first. Neither one hits the head pin. That's an eight pin drop on Joe Spare though. 76 half for Joe Ashlin. And another spare. Third mark in a row for Joe. Reggie converts the 1 5 for a 10. Gary Carrington has four marks in a row. Working on a spare right now. And he will take eight. Gary thought he might have had a strike ball. He went <laughs> almost down to his knees on that one after he let it go. Well, looks like Gary's going to need the spare to carry it over. Huh? Tim lucky has got a real difficult spare possibility. Gary gets it. Five in a row. Oh, what an effort by Timmy. Tim, and he's in fourth place right now. Still early. Or tie for third. Tie, tie for third, I should say, yep. Yeah. And taking a pin away from Tim. Joe Ashline's six fill on his spare. Reggie's going to have to show us a shot. They both will. Try and make one of these. See what Reggie can do here. Oh, oh just missing. Both guys trying to play it just on the edge to try and get some mixing action started. Both of them just missed. And Reggie settles for a six box. Well, there's an eight and a six up there. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you all have a chance here. <laughs> Put our shoes on, Doug. Don't let, don't think Tim and Gary are going to let the skin fly with a with an eight box. I guarantee if Joe wins the skin with an eight, <laughs> he will never let these guys forget about it for the rest of their lives. Well, that ends that. Tim throws a strike. <laughs> Gary trying to match it. He cannot. <laughs> so Tim will take the skin for $55. Oh, Gary almost had six in a row. <laughs> 10 box for Gary Carrington. So after two games last week and almost a full game this week, Tim Lipke finally wins a skin. <laughs> Only 27 boxes. <laughs> 27 boxes, he says. <laughs> last week and this week before he wins a skin. Reggie has a triangle. This eighth box worth $25. Joe has a solid six pin. Reggie takes the spare. Joe takes his spare. Marks already for Joe Ashline. Gary Carrington also with five. They came in a row. So it'll take a strike to win this skin, or else it'll be a carryover. Gary can't hit it. Tim is working on a strike. And he's got it a double. 
to win another skin. He's got the hang of it now. <laughs> Took him two weeks. That one's worth $25. Gary settles for a nine, and we'll have a look at the double strike. It's like he, the seven pin wasn't going to go, and this just gets nudged there and strike to win the skin, but also gives himself a double strike, which would probably is probably going to vault him into the lead. And he was fourth. Probably. That's on a spare for Joe Ashline. Reggie, the line also on a spare, and oh, he gets yeah. a big strike. Actually, Tim was tied for third, as we pointed out earlier, not really fourth. Oh, a big spare for Joe Ashline. What a shot. Wow. Here's Reggie's strike. After a two fill, Joe converts it. Now Tim Lipke on the double strike. Big ball here. And he's through the center, but he got away with it a little bit. Gets six. That'll give Reggie the skin in the ninth frame. It does indeed. For $25. Tim takes nine, and so does Gary. Well, this couldn't be much closer. Reggie DeLine in fourth at the moment, but he's working on a mark. Uh, and maybe 10, 15 pins separating first and fourth when this game is over. Oh, oh Reggie double. has a double. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie doesn't change expression, even though Joe took it away from him. Here's Reggie's strike. Here's the real strike. <laughs> so we have a carry over here in the tenth already. Nothing's going to change that. Reggie going for the triple. Boy, we are going to have some good scores here in game one. One forty four for Reggie DeLine, one fifty two for Joe Ashline. <laughs> Joe converts that spare in the tenth. And we're going to have to have a pin cleared away before Gary and Tim can roll. Wow. Likewise. Three marks in a row for Joe Ashline, four marks in a row for Joe to finish the game, three in a row for Reggie DeLine, including a double strike. Tim Lippy had a double strike earlier in this game. And everybody's going to be over 130. Both of these bowlers get a mark. We'll have three in the 140s and one in the 150s. I would assume, anyways, with a decent fill. Let's see, Gary first. Oh boy, oh, wow. oh, stay on wood. No. The four and five. Tim has the four horsemen. Well, Tim Lipke is going to be fourth, and he's going to be in the 130s, but it'll be fourth place. A nine, a 133, a nine for Gary Carrington, also at a 135, so seven, uh, make it 19 pins separating first and fourth. Four great games in the opener, and we'll have a $60 skin to start game two when we come back in a minute. Tim Lipke leading the skins winnings already. $80 so far. Joe and Reggie have also checked in. And uh, Gary Carrington waiting to win his first skin of the day. And Joe Ashline ready to go now on lane 30 as we start game two. Yeah. 
And as you so expertly pointed out during the breakdown, oh, last week, yeah. Tim finished second, came back, didn't win any skins at all. Now he's leading the skins money, and he's fourth <laughs> in total pinfall. So it makes the skins so interesting. Nine box for Joe. Four horsemen right for Reggie DeLine. be a nine box for Reggie. This is a $60 skin, remember, carried over from game one. Timmy trying to contain his excitement. Sees two nines up there. <laughs> but he knows that Gary follows him, so. Wants that six pin out of there, but it's not gonna happen. Two, four, six. I thought he had it. Move the two pin just in back of the six. Wasn't even able to clip that wood. If he had, he would have had it. Probably. Oh, well, Tim's put the pressure on Gary now. He's got the 10 up there. Three people rooting against Gary right now. Guess who they are? <laughs> <laughs> Well, bad wood there, though. They're rooting against him on this ball, but they'll be cheering for him on the third ball if he doesn't convert. <laughs> Boy, that's a mess of wood there. The front wood will definitely deflect the ball, but he might be able to use the back wood. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. $60 skin for Gary Carrington. His first of the day. the strike. It's one box too late. When he throws strikes, it doesn't take him very long to go down. <laughs> Reggie trying to duplicate it. At this time, plus the eight. What a spare. Reggie closed like a house of fire in the first game. He had 66 pins in the last three boxes of game one for a 144. Looking for his first mark in this game. Next Saturday here on Candle Pin Skins, the top two total pinfall. Tim Lipke taking it right away from Joe Ashline <laughs> with a quick strike of his own. So our top two in total pinfall today will return next Saturday here, and they'll be joined by Paul Barassa and Glenn Shattuck. That's a seven fill and a spare for Gary Carrington. Already created a carry over here with the two strikes. Spare. That spare in the first, by the way, Dan, was the only skin today that's been won with anything other than a strike. This one carries over, and box number three will be worth $20. Well, if you look at the four bowlers, you certainly, if, if you're asking for strike bowlers, you shouldn't have to go to Joe, Tim, and Gary. Reggie doesn't throw the type oh! of double strike. Doesn't throw the type of ball that you would normally see a lot of strikes. However, he threw a double himself, so. And he had one more beside that. That's right. What was that? You know, that was three strikes on the board here in this short three frames. Double strike for Joe, one for Tim. Reggie looking for one. Good ball. Oh, oh boy. Ain't not bad, right? 
Four, five, trying to use the wood next to the four pin. Quite enough of it. Nine for Reggie. Tim Lipke can't take it away this time. He did last time, but not this time. He's working on a strike. Spare on strike for Tim Lipke. You're just assuming that Gary wasn't going to get a strike. I guess huh? so. I don't know. My fingers are <laughs> about three days ahead of my brain. Or my brain's ahead of one of those things. Well, prove me wrong, Gary. Strike for the carryover. That close. So give that skin to Joe Ashline for $20. I was watching Joe when Timmy didn't get a strike, and Joe said, you know, too bad. You know, just thinking it's over with, but it wasn't. Eight pin drop on the spare for Gary just missing the spare opportunity. We'll get the 10, however. Let's see what happened on the spare attempt. Would actually cost him the shot right there. Need to be a little deeper in between the two pins. You know if you had left that up there, Gary would have thrown the strike. That's right. That's right. Now, Joe has got a Great opportunity to put a lot of distance between him and the other three bowlers on this ball. No, oh, could just, have been a lot worse. But. Just fourth. Wow. Well, I had to mention it, didn't I, hmm. Joe? Sorry. Nice out for a nine. But he winds up with just 39 pins in the two boxes where the double strike. Right now Richie's low man in the total pole here, not by much, but needs some marks. Oh, fine shot, but not enough. The two pieces of wood came together, prevented him from getting the nine pin. So Reggie will be open for the fourth box in a row here in game two. Remember, bottom of the screen, cumulative two-game pinfall totals for each bowler as they finish each box. Give you an idea of where they stand. You see Joe Ashline already over 200 in the lead. Tim Lipke on a spare. Fills it with seven. Tim leads for the skin right now. Dollar skin here in the fourth. And there's a spare. Tim has put something up there for Gary to shoot at. Gary Carrington is all over it for a strike. And he takes that skin away. Quick strikes. <laughs> Seen a lot of them too. That was the eleventh strike of this program. We have got a tight, tight match for total pinfall. Two at one ninety. Joe's in front with two oh nine. Reggie not far behind with a one eighty. The two 190 bowlers, Timmy and Gary, have spare and strike up respectively, so be even closer. Ten for Joe.
Reggie just has not been able to get back on the mark here since the end of game one. Not quite. Ten for Reggie. Reggie's going to be fourth going into the last five boxes. There's no doubt about that. Tim and Gary both working on marks here. Tim on a spare. He'll take seven. Looking at the two, five, and seven pins. Piece of wood in between the two and the five. And takes it for the spare. Four marks in a row for Tim Lipke. Ball coming off the left side wall for the seven. Very Carrington working on a strike. Timmy has a lead for the skin with a spare. Look out. Ooh, that close to a double. Three of the four bowlers have double strikes already. Tim, Reggie, and Joe have each thrown a double strike in this match. Watch out. Spare, spare on strike. And this continues to be a very, very tight match, and we will continue with the conclusion here on Candlepin Skins. Great match going. We'll be right back. <laughs> Joe Ashline is our overall pinfall leader at the moment. Five boxes to go, and almost another strike. He's the leader, but he's got some bulls that are breathing down his neck here, meaning Tim and Gary at 207, 210, but both working on marks. Spare. Boy, that was a terrific shot, too. He had a double piece of wood in the channel. Had to get away from Take it. For you. We had a carry over in that fifth box, of course, right before the break, so this sixth box was worth $30. Reggie needs to turn things around quickly. There's a way to do it. Converting the half Worcester. Taking the inside path. Very nicely done. Now Tim working on a spare. Already has a carryover possibility unless Tim or Gary can throw the strike. Not for Tim. A little light. Seven on his mark. But another makeable spare. Two, five, and ten, and piece of wood in between, and angled toward the ten pin. He's trying to make it five marks in a row. Oh, missed the two pin. Ten for Tim. 91 through 6, and you see down at the bottom, 224 through 16. Total of the two games so far. Gary Carrington working on a spare. The strike will win the skin. Anything else, it'll be a carryover. And he's got it! Gary Carrington takes a $30 skin with that strike. And takes over the lead. The seventh is worth $25, and Joe Ashline is on a mark, and he'll take eight. Well, the 5 7, he wants to pinch the five right on the right hand side with the angle of the wood, should jump the five pin toward the seven. Oh, missed right it. Right idea, just too far right. Nine for Joe. Now that'll keep him ahead of Tim Lipke unless Timmy can throw some kind of a mark. Real battle going on now for second. Reggie's not out of it. He's working on a spare. And a chance for another. It's interesting, uh, Dan. We've seen a lot of strikes today, but not many nine drops. The 
pins are carrying and guys are getting strikes instead of nine drops. Reggie takes a spare there. Takes the lead for the skin. Reggie does with that spare also. Oh, big break oh, for yeah. Tim Lipke. Knocked out the four and seven. Leaves the three, six, and ten pins left for the spare. Oh, nope. boy. It's a nine. It's gonna get real interesting coming down the stretch here. Reggie will spare up. We'll gain a little ground on both Joe and Tim. Barry working on a strike here. Barry has 10 marks in the first 16 boxes. Working on a strike here. Needs a spare to carry it over. It's not gonna be an easy one. Take a look at that wood. Decide whether he should try to cut the three pin into the seven or, or use the wood to carry the ball off into the three and have the wood take the seven. I think it's too far left. Decided that was too far left too, so that'll give the skin to Reggie. Worth $25. Gary takes a 10. We check the scores, especially at the bottom of the screen. Gary Carrington has now taken the lead by three over Joe Ashline, and Tim Lippie just 13 behind Joe at 233. Reggie with 218, but he's the only one who has a markup, so get a little closer with the fill. No, oh, Joe takes the 189. A reminder that Candlepin Skins is brought to you in part by the Carphone Store of Nashua, where remote car starters are now on sale. Be sure and tell the folks at the Carphone Store of Nashua that you heard about them here on Candlepin Skins. Eight for Joe Ashline. And Reggie now with a very important ball. On a spare. Oh, the big one it is. You talk about a nine pin drop, Doug. There it is. A much needed one by Reggie. Just the six pin now. Try to make it three marks in a row. Unless I'm missing my count. Dan, that was only the second nine pin drop that we've had in the hour, and we've had 12, uh, 12 strikes. So Reggie converts the single for a spare. That puts him at 237. 17 pins out of the lead, Joe Ashley. Tim takes another pin. He'll have the seven for a spare, but perhaps a troublesome piece of wood in front. Okay. It's going to be right of the red line. Oh, he's right on the red line. Nope. Nine pin drops in a row. One make, and now one miss. And it's still there. Watch the wood deflect and the ball the other way. A little farther right would have turned it toward the seven pin. Harry Carrington, 249, chance to take over the lead from Joe Ashline. A little high. Hmm. Reggie, remember, has a spare up for the skin. Reggie will win the skin with that spare. $25 more for him. Gary takes a nine for 123 through eight. Wow. Just a four pin difference now between Gary Carrington and Joe Ashline. And then only eight more down to Tim Lipney. And Reggie DeLine very much in it as well. Two boxes to go. The ninth is worth $25. Big strike, Joe Ashline. That's what Reggie needs to do on this spare. He needs the same type of result. The strike. That's five strikes for Joe Ashline. Oh, he dropped that ball. 
Well, not bad. He's got half a dozen, but he needs to make this spare. Nope. Remember, only the top two in total pinfall return next week. And that may be a costly open for Reggie right there. Now Tim in the same spot. He really needs a mark here. And he gets a strike. Not only to keep himself in it, but also to have the skin and create the carryover. So the last skin of the day will be worth $75 in the 10th. That's a big strike right there for Tim Lippy. have a 270 or so. Oh, great 10 right there. We may have a 270 or so score here, Dan, in third place. That's right. See the 10 box here off the wall for the four pin. Joe Ashline working on a strike. Look at those scores at the bottom. How close it is going into the final box. $75 skin, and Joe has a split. Strike though. And the 10. That pin may be important. 283 for Joe Ashline. And a bigger spare that would have clinched his return next week, but now I'll have to wait it out. Reggie must mark in order to give himself any chance, and really what he needed was a double strike. Well, that will leave Reggie out of the picture in terms of returning next week. He had that big first game when he finished with a 144, but a 116 on top of it for 260, and that's not gonna be good enough. Now the battle is between uh, Tim and Gary. Oh, they could both make it. Right. That's they right. They could both knock Joe out. Depending on what Tim does on this strike. He and he'll to, have a split. He needs, he needs to convert this to catch Joe. Let's see. Oh, he made it without even touching the wood. <laughs> What a shot. Oh, my. When he had to have it. How about that for a shot? Now that may force, well, we'll see. Ooh. Five is the fill. 144, 277. Gary Carrington needs a 10 box to come back next week. That's how critical that last ball was. That's why I held off saying anything, because if Tim had put a seven or more up there, he would have forced Gary to mark. Of course, a strike would win the skin. A, a spare will carry it over. Gary needs 10 to come back next week. And he takes the spare. So he will be back next week, and that causes a carryover. Gary will fill this spare, and then we'll take a break and come back and decide this final skin. Wow, what a finish. Great scores. 283 for Joe Ashline, and it's not good enough. A six fill, 149 for Gary, and a 284. 284 gives, or rather, I should say, Joe Ashline with a 283 finishing second. Tim Lipke's 277 is not good enough. 
Gary Carrington and Joe Ashline to come back next week. And when we come back, we'll settle this last $75 skin. Well, this last carryover skin of the day is worth $75, and whoever wins it will be the uh, leading money winner of the day. That's how close things are. Well, possibilities for Reggie. Let's see what Joe can do. Oh! oh. I guess he had a possibility, too. <laughs> what a shot. Reggie needs this one to stay in. Wood roll then should help him if he's on the two pin. There it is. That will keep Reggie alive unless either Tim or Gary throws a strike. We may be here a while. <laughs> what a great match too. Gary Carrington finishing first with that late flourish and beating Joe Ashline by just one pin. They'll both be back next week. Tim's got some work to do. And remember, only the two that tie this time carry over, so these bowls have to get at least spares to continue. Gary's got the better chance, certainly. And Tim gets yes. it! Oh, my. Can Gary make it four? Oh, no, not quite. So Gary's out of it with the nine. Joe, Reggie, and Tim will stay alive. <laughs> telling Gary to sit down. <laughs> Gary does have $105 on the day. Right now, he's the leader, but whoever wins this last skin will take over first place. <laughs> oh, strike for Joe Ashline. Well, Reggie can sit down. He just went over and pushed the button. <laughs> and now Tim steps up. And if he doesn't throw a strike, it'll be $75 to Joe Ashline. <laughs> Tim's saying, here's the one, here it comes. It's gotta be a strike. Come on, Barry, take it off! Well, he gave it a run, but Joe Ashline will take that last skin worth $75. And we will take a break. We'll come back to wrap it up here on Candlepin Skins after this. Well, a terrific match as we expected today. Gary Carrington wins it by one over Joe Ashline, 284, 283, and then Tim Lipke just six pins back. And Reggie DeLine was right in it until the end as well. Checking the winnings, that last $75 skin puts Joe Ashline on top of this list with Gary right behind him. And everybody was able to chip in, Dan, but uh, about what we expected, a terrific match, four great bullies. That's right. One of these days you'd like to see all four of them come back with yeah. all bowl terrifically, but unfortunately only two can. So Gary Carrington and Joe Ashline will be back next week. They'll be joined by Paul Barassa and Glenn Shattuck. Don't forget, tomorrow at noon from Park Place Lanes, it's Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Until then, for Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. Thanks for joining us.